to my channel you guys i'm so excited today to be sharing with you not one but two backpacks that i got from the coach outlet and i'm just i'm excited to finally get all these videos about this shopping trip that we went on out of the way so without further ado let's get started to my return viewers and subscribers welcome back and if you're new welcome aboard i would love for you to consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every single time your boy loads a new video so in that trip, <laughs> we rounded it up and wound up going to the Coach Outlet store. And I had been reluctant. Let me give. Let me back up. In 2020, if you guys are new here, and I will leave the video linked above. Where basically, I had a quarantine haul. You know, we were all shopping and doing weird things during the pandemic. So I went crazy on Coach backpacks. More of them were from the Coach outlet and one of them came from the coach the actual coach store and there's rumors that have always been circulating around about the coach outlet quality versus the quality of coaches leather from the regular store and i witnessed that firsthand after owning bags from both right but some of the coach outlet offerings they're undeniable in design and i know that arguably there's been quality issues between the two sides of this one brand but i do like the offerings and for the price point for 200 something dollars you kind of can't beat it right and my only issue is that if it becomes a beater bag like my lovely coach hudson backpack in the gray color the second model i always wonder am i ever going to be able to find this again i've seen the other colors on you know eBay, Tradesy, and stuff like that. Not Tradesy, I think they're out of business. Uh, but I've seen the other colors on like Mercari, eBay, and other places. But this gray color, I don't see anywhere. And I keep thinking, when I beat this up, and if you guys can see, you guys can see right there up top, there's like some scratching and color coming off. I always wonder, <laughs> Am I ever gonna find this bag again if I destroy this one? And that's what bothers me about some of the outlet bags. But other than that, it is very, very good leather. Again, comparing it to the regular coach door, not so much. And you can see that the Rivington bag that I unboxed in that video, which is now Joey's bag, he beats that up. He takes it on the subway. He he has no work, no care in the world for any kind of bag or anything. He just throws it around. And this, while I do throw it around and I do carry it, it's slouchy. I just see a lot of wear on this versus the Rivington, which came from the coach store. I digress. Of those designs that are undeniable, the Hudson backpack definitely is a fan favorite and with good reason. It's the perfect size and it does pull inspiration from the Louis Vuitton Christopher backpack. Will I say it's a dupe? Eh, that's up in the air. But I will say that it is a great bag nonetheless. And like I said, with great reason. And it also comes in a lot of really, really fun colors, including the one that came out this year. So this is the 2023 version of the Coach Hudson backpack. And everything is exactly the same with one minor tweak, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So I have not unboxed this or unpackaged this since I purchased it. So I'm gonna do it with you guys. So this is the 2023 version of the iconic Hudson backpack in this new green color fern. And I am obviously obsessed with it. It does vary a great deal from the utility green color that I have, but this is the green that got me when I was younger. This is just a really, really fun bag, you guys. And the size is perfect. It's 11 and three quarters inches in length, it's 16 and a half inches in height and it is six inches in width. So it's a really, really well-constructed bag. It does have these two pockets on the side that snap closed. It has two snaps here that allow you access to the bag. And this is your draw string to get into the bag. It does have a top handle here and padded shoulder straps as well as a padded back here now this is the newest addition to the bag which i think is phenomenal it does have a zipper that allows you access to the bag right here this right here is something that came from the rivington backpack which used to be mine but now it's joseph's i think it's perfect i think if, if the hudson was missing anything before 
it was this. And I love that they just had a little tweak. They didn't tell anyone that they were tweaking it, but this just made the bag that much more amazing than its predecessor. Another change that I did notice was that the interior top flap of the bag is no longer the exposed flesh side of the leather. They've incorporated a layer of fabric lining, which I think will help to reduce any structural loss to the top flap of the bag. And I mean, like I said, the color fern, you cannot, this is beautiful. This is an absolutely stunning color. And for those of you who are interested, this bag does come in a variety of iterations. It comes in this pebbled leather version, which comes in a bunch of colors. It also comes in the coated canvas with leather. They also have offerings now with suede. Along with this new color fern, there's a blue suede color with gunmetal, I believe it's gunmetal hardware. It's a beautiful, beautiful backpack. I was not getting another one. This just filled my green quota and I'm done. But yes, I think it is a really, really beautiful backpack and I cannot wait to rock this baby. This, well, fall is basically over, but I think I could still rock it in the winter time. If not, definitely I can pull it off in the spring of 2024. Now, I was really reluctant to doing any shopping when we went in there, but I needed to pick up the backpack because I don't know if I told you guys it was available online, but it said that the coat, the nearest coach store to me had it in stock so i went and picked it up from there but outside of that i was reluctant to doing any more shopping joseph was looking around he did wind up picking up a briefcase he had nothing monogram all the coach backpacks that i have given him and the coach messenger bags and briefcases i've given him were all leather so he like this one that was black leather with the black and gray cc logo so he purchased that and i'm just in the corner like nope not getting anything <laughs> And the young lady who was helping us, she said, I heard you say green was your favorite color. And she said, can I interest you in this new backpack? And I said, absolutely not. Like, I have a backpack. Like, we're good. And then she showed me to this wall. And I believe everything was 60% off. And I was just like, I really, really, really do not need another backpack. So she showed me this really slim, beautiful backpack in the utility green. I said, uh, done. Already been there. I have the Hudson in utility greens i don't need another bag that color so she said well what about a pop of color Ooh, why on earth did she say a pop of color you guys why would she why would she do that so that same backpack that she showed me in utility green she said what about yellow and you guys she showed me the blaine backpack in yellow and i completely lost it i was like oh my gosh now i do have a louis vuitton port document i think it's a regular port document not voyage jour it's not a jour it's a regular louis vuitton port document in infinity leather so it's yellow and the color is solar solar yellow but i don't really reach for that so much and i don't know why i'm gonna be honest i don't know why it's not the color i don't know why I think I'm just not, I don't reach for briefcases anymore. I used to when I was like going to coffee shops to edit videos and stuff like that. But I don't reach for, for briefcases anymore. I digress. So she showed me this bag and I was like, I, I need it. <laughs> I absolutely need it. It's super slim in profile. I, I love everything about this backpack. It's very simple. There is no... There's no padding back here, but there's padding here on the straps. It does have this top handle here. I do recall, I'm going to take this tape off. It does have, I think this is called a dog leash buckle right here. It has a dog leash buckle. Very simple to open. You open it and you guys, here's the piece de resistance for me, okay? This beautiful, like, mustard color interior is just stunning like it's a really really beautiful interior i'm gonna take the stuffing out it has a laptop sleeve a zipper compartment here and then on this side there's two other pockets this bag blew me away okay what really threw me for a loop with this bag was you know you see the gunmetal hardware you see the black i call it like a seatbelt strap i don't know what that's called webbing like black webbing uh strap here and I just assumed that the interior was going to be black. But when I was met with this beautiful sort of saddle colored interior, 
I completely lost it. And I was just like, wrap it up, please. And thank you. And I, I definitely cannot wait to rock this. Even in the fall, winter with like some chalk. It's weird because it has the black strap, but I would still rock it with like some chocolate brown, some cream neutrals. It is a really, really beautiful backpack, you guys. And that is, that's the bottom of the bag. Nothing spectacular. I will say I was very shocked by it not having any padding here on the back, but I kind of like it at the same time. I don't know why. I think that the Hudson needs that padding because it's a larger bag. You'll probably carry more. And this one's slimmer. Although it's slimmer, don't get it twisted. A lot can fit in here. Like between a laptop or a, an iPad, you can hold keys, cell phone, wallet, and then still have an entire interior in the middle. It's not just this big open box, which I thought it was going to be. It kind of puts me in the mindset of follow me. There's a Louis Vuitton backpack that I used to want. I believe it's called the Soho. If I can find it, I'll insert a picture of it. But I absolutely adore this backpack. And again, I for 200 and something dollars, the color's fun. It was 60% off. And you know, I always say these coach bags, they say the original price is 600 US dollars. I don't believe that. You never see these bags full price. They just pop up on the... Uh, on the outlet at 60% off. And I'm so mad because I got this and paid 209 for it. And then I believe like three weeks, like I think last week or a couple days ago, um, it went down to 179 and I was gonna, you know, return it and buy another one. And I was like, you know what? It was low in stock. And I was like, I'm not gonna risk, sell, you know, returning it and then trying to get a new one and missing out on it. So I absolutely adore my new backpacks. This is very reminiscent of 2020 all over again. <laughs> Although I think in that video I unboxed like a, a reveal like five backpacks, I believe. But this is just two. It's giving very like Bert and Ernie vibes. <laughs> and I forgot to mention that in that video I share with you guys the gray one, the utility green, but I did not tell you guys that in 2020, like a couple of weeks after I did bought all of those backpacks, I found a cobalt blue one which I unboxed on my Instagram. I thought I did it here, so my apologies. I never unbox it here, but I will leave, I will leave some video here of me doing the unboxing of that bag and show you all three of them together. Uh, I can't believe that that was like three years ago and I never even showed you guys on this channel. And I do have all the coach backpacks up there on my wardrobe kind of lying on their backside, ready to get used. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Just a really, really quick unbagging, unplasticking, unwrapping, if you will, and not even fully. I still have stuff on these, but I just want to share with you guys the two coach backpacks that I got. And I am, you know, as YouTubers always lie, but I did good. I went three years without purchasing any coach backpacks and I've gone, has it been three years since I purchased a bag or two? I haven't purchased a bag in two years. Um, I've just, it's just really not been on my radar, but again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.